<laughs> Hello Indian people, my name is Robert and in this video I'll show you how to add a tip jar to your website and start receiving donations online. After this video you will start getting donations to get blonde hair as I had during The Great Gatsby. <laughs> Sweat punch. All right, I will first show you how to create donation button like this, or you can call it tip jar, whatever you want, and then how to add it to your menu in WordPress. Then I will go through the different options for the virtual tip jar. So basically, where are you going to receive that money? So that could be PayPal. Also, there's other options like uh, different websites like Kofi and also buymeacoffee.com. Yeah, I have never drank in my life. Wait a minute. God. Next, let's create an HTML button that you can place on your website. Just log into your WordPress dashboard and here, what we need to do is, we're gonna go to two places. So you go appearance, and then you have to open up customize. So right click on it and open the link in the new tab. And then this in this one, we're gonna go to the menus. So let's go to the menus. So this is my header menu you need to add a new custom link. So in here, you can just add the URL. For now, I'm gonna add just a hashtag and link text will be buy me a coffee. This can be anything. You could say also buy me a tea, but then you'll just need to adjust the icon a bit later. So let's add that to the menu and let's drag it up here. Come here on top and open up the screen options tab and then select the CSS classes. This will reveal a new thing here. So if you open up this one, you'll see you have CSS classes here. It's optional, but what you need to do is add this text, coffee-btn. And I just noticed I want to also open this link in a new tab. So I'm gonna check this one. Then just save the menu. And now if I go to the website and refresh the page, we should just see a simple uh, link here and it doesn't go anywhere right now. So I'm not gonna even click on it. So now what we need to do is customize this. And we go now to the customizer. That's the other tab we opened before. And just in case you get lost, it's under appearance and you have customize here. So in here, let's refresh this one so that we can see the link that we just created. Now you see it here as well. And we go to additional CSS. Now this could be in some other place in your theme, but in pretty much every WordPress theme, you have some sort of a custom CSS, additional CSS, something like this. It might be in the website settings somewhere here or site identity, but you should have this. So when you click on it, you should just see this rows of uh, code in your case it might be even empty so i prepared a bit of code that will work on any wordpress website so all you have to do is go in the description of this video and there's a link to this page and basically this is the code you need to copy this is on github so let's grab that one and just copy it come back to the customizer and now to the bottom i'm gonna add this code you can see that the Actually, we have a coffee cup here and it gets updated live here in this customizer. You can see the button even reacts to my uh, mouse hover. If you don't want any hover effect, like you see that it turns to white, all you have to do is just delete the last part here. No problemo. Hey, if you like this video so far, consider hitting the like button. That will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Now, you probably want to change the background color of the button. You don't want to keep it as red or any of these colors. So what you can do is I'll leave this link also in the description, but you basically can use a color wheel like this one. So let's say uh, either you know the hex code of your color already on your website, or then what you can do is use a color wheel like this one and then when you find the right color, you just grab this number here. So this is a hex code and you just copy it. And now if I come to the customizer, I can change this background color to this new hex number. And you can see it already changed. Again, I'm not a big fan of this hover effect, so I'm just gonna remove it in this case. It doesn't mean I don't like them in, in, to in overall, but just in this case, I don't think it's necessary. So now you can see it doesn't change to anything. You've just been erased. 
Other things you can adjust here is the padding size. So it's basically these little, how much padding is there between the text and the, the edges of the button. So if I increase it to uh, the first number is for top and uh, bottom. You can see it went big now here. You can see it there. And then the uh, second number is for left and right. So if you add more, you'll have a, a sort of wider button. But what I have now is fine. Then one thing that you might also want to have is border. So all you have to do here is add a number here. So you have solid, then you have the black color. This is a hex number for black. And then if you add a amount of pixels here, for example, three, you can see you have black borders now. In my case, I don't need it. That's why I'll keep it to zero. And then border radius is how much curve the borders have. So for example, if I add uh, I'll remove so put it to zero then you see they are sharp corners and then if I add I don't know 50% uh, you can also use percentages for this one it will be almost like a circle this doesn't look that good so I'm gonna keep to the three pixels and later on if you want to change this emoji to something else I'll leave a link in the description for this website you can just copy basically this one and then insert that instead of the coffee cup all right, so once you're done, you can click on publish. And now, even if we go to the website, refresh it, we have a button here. So if I click on it now, it's basically just open up my uh, same website. I know, it's like a revelation, like this one. You are not you, you are me. If you're looking to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, consider subscribing and hitting the like button so you get notified when there's new videos. So to receive donations, you have few options. You can use a service like Ko-fi or buy me a Ko-fi, get a PayPal tip jar, or if you're in WordPress, use a dedicated plugin. But from my experience, you get most donations when you offer an easy interface and most convenient payment methods. So that kind of leaves us with the service. Now you could achieve this with the WordPress plugin, but it entails a lot of hassle and I don't wanna keep maintaining. Now you have a few options for donation platforms like Kofi.com and buymeacoffee.com. Both of these are quite similar. The idea is that they provide you a platform for free. They don't charge any fees on the donations. However, the payment providers like PayPal and credit cards will take a fee from the donation. Just something to keep in mind. The benefit of using a service like this is that they provide you with everything. You have a nice page where you can add images, post comments and updates and also get monthly payments like on Patreon. And people can donate to you by sending you money via PayPal, credit cards and Apple Pay. And you can set the price of a cup of coffee. For a detailed tutorial on how to set up Kofi page, check out the white YouTube card in the top right corner of your screen right now. And it will blow your mind. <laughs> the other option is to set up a PayPal me page. It looks like this. As you can see, it's very simple and people can donate to you only via PayPal. But I like that people can choose how much they donate. Some will donate a dollar, but some might donate $20. And if you already have a PayPal account, PayPal Me is really quick to set up. If you want to sign up for this, just head to paypal.me. I'll leave the link in the description. Another way to get donations is to use PayPal's donation button. You can see you land on this page and you can choose to pay with PayPal or with credit card. So you can see that minimum is $1, so let's do that. And then if you click, you can pay with credit card. If you need help setting up a PayPal donate, then check out the YouTube card that should appear on your screen's top right corner right now. Sure. Now, if you don't know which to choose, just go with PayPal Me. It's the easiest to set up and you'll need to have a PayPal account for Kofi or buy me a coffee anyway. So you might as well start with this one because it's the easiest and then you have at least something and then just see how it goes. Ah. So once you've decided which provider you're gonna use, all you have to do is grab the URL from here. So in my case, this is my page. So now I can go back to the menu section. And now here where it says buy me a coffee, I just change this URL to the real URL. So in this case, it will be coffee. Again, up to you what you use, 
But this is the simplest way to add a tip jar button to your website's menu. So now if I go to my website, refresh it. If I click on the, on the button here, you can see it opens up Kofi. So this is perfect. People can now support me if they want to. Yeah. Okay, awesome. That was pretty easy, right? Now, if you provide enough value, people will start donating you some money. Don't expect this to be a big amount, but for me, it's more than enough to cover my web hosting costs and keep my website running. This is pretty cool and I'm pretty grateful for all those people that donate. Since you have now a way to receive donations, how about learning where to get royalty-free images and illustrations for a website? I will show you my favorite sites in the video right here. And if you're serious about SEO, make sure your on-page SEO is optimized. For all my tips, check out the video right here. Oh,